Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the components for the metric tensor in a Minkowski space. Which is basically flat space time with the time component. And if you remember, this is how you get the components for uh, the metric. For flat space, it's uh, usually use eta, and you dot the basis vectors into each other. And alpha and beta are going to range over values from uh, 0 to 3, which is a 0, it's your time component, 1, it's your x component, 2, y component. 3, your z component. Okay, and uh, your metric tensor is going to be a second rank tensor. These components are your g's actually be eta. And zero, one, one. And of course it's gonna be a diagonal matrix, but we'll see that in a minute. So let's calculate some of these components. So to calculate the time time component, which is the time x, y, z, t, x, y, z. To calculate this time time component, eta sub zero zero would equal to These two time basis vectors, and first off, let's go over here. This e sub zero is gonna equal to this uh, i imaginary value times c times the unit vector and the time direction. But we're gonna set the speed of light equal to one, so this is gonna equal to i times a uh, unit vector in the time direction and our e sub 1 which is going to be i hat which is a unit vector in the x direction e sub 2 is going to be j hat which is a unit vector in the y direction and e sub 3 is going to be a unit vector in the z direction which is k hat so back to here we get imaginary I imaginary times a unit vector in the time direction, which I times I is uh, minus one, and these unit vectors are of uh, unit length and they're in the same direction, so that's gonna give us a one, so we get a minus one. And likewise, all these uh, other components such as this one, it's going to equal to all these off diagonals are going to equal to zero because they're orthogonal because uh, <coughs> e dot one so zero because we'll just use this one as a quick example because it's i dot <coughs> i hat is zero because this l hat and i hat is 
they're uh, perpendicular, so that's zero. And likewise, only the diagonal, only the diagonal terms right here, are going to survive, and the rest are all going to be zero because they're all orthogonal. So it's n one one eight us. I mean, sorry about that. It's going to equal e sub one dot e sub one, which is i hat dot i hat, which is one. And uh, eta sub two two, which is e sub two, e sub two basis vector, j hat dot j hat is equal to one. And your eta sub three three is equal to e sub three basis vector, your e sub three basis vector, which is k hat dot k hat, which is equal to one. And uh, again, all these off diagonal terms of your uh, metric are going to be zero because uh, all our coordinates are uh, perpendicular to each other. So let's put some of these values in and we take a look at our our uh, metric. So our Minkowski metric, which is a second rank tensor, is going to equal to. Of course, we said it was going to be a diagonal matrix, so this time component, we get x component, y component, or z component, and likewise, time time, x, y, z. So we, in the previous page, we saw that our eta sub 0, 0 is minus 1 and our eta sub 1, 1 is 1 our eta sub 2, 2 is 2 and our eta sub 3, 3 is 1 so our eta sub Zero, zero, no, no, no. sorry, one, 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 and these other components, these off diagonals are all zero. This one, and of course, just to this time corresponds to zero. This x corresponds to one, two, and three. When we our values of alpha, that is, and beta. Okay, so here we got the components for our our flat space uh, Minkowski metric.